Hi, my name is Michaela Kiddit, and I'll be doing the driver's side CDL pre-trip. My bus is in neutral. My parking brake is set. I have my keys, my tire gush, and my def gush in my possession. My entrance key is present with the key in its door. My side view mirror is securely mounted. It's not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. The mirror is clear and visible, not chipped, cracked, or broken, not discolored, no condensation, and the seals not worn, torn, or frayed. I'm unlatching my hood. My amber turn signal light is not chipped, cracked, or broken. It's securely mounted, not discolored or faded, no condensation, and the seals not worn, torn, or frayed. My cross view mirror is securely mounted. It's not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. The seal's not worn, torn, or frayed. My mirror is not chipped, cracked, or broken. No discoloration or condensation. And the wires are not worn, torn, frayed, or burnt. I have five amber clearance lights, two red loading lights, two amber warning lights, two clear high beam and low beam headlight assemblies with amber turn signals. They're all not discolored or faded not chipped, cracked, or broken. The seals are not worn, torn, or frayed. It's not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, and they're securely mounted. My eight-inch school bus lettering reflector tape is clear and visible. It's not worn, torn, frayed, or burnt. My windshield is clearly mounted. Its seals not worn, torn, frayed, or burnt. It's not chipped, cracked, or broken, and has no illegal stickers. My windshield wipers are securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. There's no visible sign of dry rot, and I'll be testing the tension when I'm in the bus. My inspection sticker and license plate are clear and visible, and they're both up to date. My license plate is not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, and are securely mounted. My grill is securely mounted, and it's not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. My cross arm is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, and moves out and back in freely. My school bus number is clear and visible, and it's not worn, torn, frayed, or burnt. My bus is level. There is no black shiny oil. There is no pink or green antifreeze or red power steering or transmission fluid. My cross view mirror is securely mounted. It's not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. The seal's not worn, torn, or frayed. The mirror's not discolored or faded, chipped, cracked, or broken, and my wire's not worn, torn, frayed, or burnt. My amber turn signal light is securely mounted. It's not discolored or faded, not chipped, cracked, or broken, and the seal's not worn, torn, or frayed. I'm gonna unlatch my hood. My side view mirror, securely mounted. It's not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. The mirror's not chipped, cracked, or broken, no discoloration or condensation, and the seal's not worn, torn, or frayed. I'm going to open the hood with my hand on the hood so that it does not drop. My hood has no black splash to indicate leaking. My cables are securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. My fan moves freely. It's not chipped, cracked, broken, or missing, and it is not hitting my shroud. My serpentine belt gives no more than three-fourths inch give, and it's not worn, torn, frayed, or burnt. My belt-driven water pump is securely mounted, not dented or bent, chipped, cracked, or broken, and it is not leaking. My belt-driven alternator is not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's not dented or bent, chipped, cracked, or broken. My wires are not worn, torn, frayed, or burnt. My air inlet heater is securely mounted. It's not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's not dented or bent, chipped, cracked, or broken. It is not leaking. My windshield wiper reservoir is securely mounted. It's not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. The cap is secure. It's at adequate level. It's not dented or bent, chipped, cracked, or broken. Not leaking. My wires are not worn, torn, frayed, or burnt. And my hoses are not worn, torn, or leaking. My pink coolant tank is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. The cap is secure. It's at adequate level, not chipped, cracked, broken, or leaking, and the hoses are not worn, torn, or leaking. My frame is not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's not dented or bent, chipped, cracked, or broken, and there's no non-factory welts. My shock is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. 
it's not dented or bent, chipped, cracked, or broken, and it is not leaking. My tie rod and knuckle are securely mounted. They're not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. They're not dented or bent, chipped, cracked, or broken, and there's no non-factory welds. My leaf spring hanger, securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's not dented or bent, chipped, cracked, or broken. My leaf springs are not shifted, broken, or missing. They're not dented or bent, chipped, cracked, or broken. My U-bolts and nuts are securely holding the leaf springs, and they're not dented or bent, chipped, cracked, or broken. And there are no non-factory welds. My airline and ABS wire are securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, or couplings. My wire is not worn, torn, frayed, or burnt, and the airline's not worn, torn, frayed, or leaking. My brake chamber is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's not dented or bent, chipped, cracked, or broken, not leaking, and there's no non-factory welds. My slack adjuster is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. Pins or retainers, it's at a 90 degree angle, gives no more than one fourth inch give, and is properly lubricated. My inner seal is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's not dented or bent, chipped, cracked, or broken, or leaking. My brake pad is securely mounted, and it's not worn too thin. My brake drum is securely mounted, not dented or bent, chipped, cracked, or broken, and there's no non-factory welds. My inner rim is securely mounted. It's not dented or bent, chipped, cracked, or broken, and there's no non-factory welds. My inner tire has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. My tire tread is wearing even with no less than 4 30 seconds of tread death. It's not a recap or retread. My outer tire has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. My outer rim is not missing any lug nuts. All lug nuts have no rust to indicate looseness. The rim is not dented or bent, chipped, cracked, or broken. No non-factory welds. My outer tire has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. My outer seal is not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's not dented or bent, chipped, cracked, or broken, or leaking. My metal valve stem and cap is present, and my tire is at adequate pressure. My mud flap is securely mounted. It's not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, and it's not worn, torn, frayed, or burnt. My fuse boxes are securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, and I have spare access to electrical fuses if needed. My wire panel is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. The wires are all not worn, torn, frayed, or burnt. My airline with couplings are securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, or couplings. They're not worn, torn, frayed, or leaking. My oil. is at adequate level. My transmission is at adequate level. My power steering fluid is securely mounted. It's not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. The cap is secure on tightly at adequate level, not chipped, cracked, broken, or leaking. The wires are not worn, torn, frayed, burnt, or leaking. My gear-driven air compressor and governor is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's not dented or bent, chipped, cracked, or broken, or leaking. My gear-driven power steering pump is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's not dented or bent, chipped, cracked, or broken, or leaking. My steering shaft is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. The rubber's not worn, torn, frayed, or burnt. It's properly lubricated, no non-factory wheel, and gives enough free play. My gearbox is securely mounted. It's not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's not dented or bent, chipped, cracked, or broken. No non-factory welds. The hoses are not worn, torn, frayed, or leaking. My fitment arm, drag link, and steering arm are securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, castle nuts, or cotter keys. They're not dented or bent, chipped, cracked, or broken, and there's no non-factory welts. My tie rod and knuckle are securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, castle nuts, or cotter keys. It's not dented or bent, chipped, cracked, or broken, and there's no non-factory welts. My frame is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, 
not dented or bent, chip cracked or broken, and no non-factory welds. My shock is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's not dented or bent, chip cracked or broken, and it is not leaking. My leaf spring hanger is securely mounted, it's not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's not dented or bent, chip cracked or broken, and no non-factory welds. My leaf springs are not shifted, broken, or missing. They're not dented or bent, chip cracked or broken. My leaf springs are secure with both of the U-bolts and nuts. My airline and wire are securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, or couplings. My wire is not worn, torn, frayed, or burnt. My airline is not worn, torn, frayed, or leaking. My air brake chamber is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's not dented or bent, chipped, cracked, or broken, and there's no non-factory welds. My slack adjuster is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. Pins or retainers, it's at a 90 degree angle, gives no more than one inch give, and is properly lubricated. My inner seals, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's not dented or bent, chip cracked or broken, and is not leaking. My brake pad is securely mounted and is at adequate level. My brake drum is securely mounted. It's not dented or bent, chip cracked or broken, and no non-factory welts. My inner rim is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's not dented or bent, chip cracked or broken, and no non-factory welts. My inner tire has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. My tire tread is wearing even, with no less than 430 seconds of tread death. It's not a recapped or retread. My outer tire has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. My outer rim is secure with all lug nuts. All the lug nuts have no rust to indicate looseness. It's not dented or bent, chipped, cracked, or broken, and no non-factory welts. My outer seal securely mounted with no missing nuts or bolts. It's not leaking, it's not dented or bent, chipped, cracked, or broken, and no non-factory welts. My metal valve stem and cap are present, and my tire is at adequate pressure. My mud flap is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's not worn, torn, frayed, or burnt. I'm now gonna close my hood and latch it up. I have two amber and one red clearance light, one amber turn signal, one amber reflector, and one red reflector. They're all not discolored or faded, not chipped, cracked, or broken. The seal's not worn, torn, or frayed. They're not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, and there's no condensation. My two emergency exit windows with reflective tape, my four inch school bus lettering, school bus number, and stop sign are all clear and visible, not worn, torn, frayed, or burnt. My stop sign moves out freely. My stop sign moves in and out freely. The four red lenses are securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. The stop reflective tape is clearly mounted. It's not worn, torn, frayed, or burnt. My air bellow it's not worn, torn, frayed, burnt, or leaking. It's not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. And the wires are not worn, torn, frayed, or burnt. My battery box opens. The battery switch is located here. The wires are not worn, torn, frayed, or burnt, and they're securely mounted. And it's not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. Battery box then closes securely and there is no tampering with or vandalism within the box. My windows are all clear and visible. The seal is not worn, torn, or frayed. It's not dented or bent, chip cracked or broken, and there's no illegal stickers. My frame is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's not dented or bent, chip cracked or broken, and there's no non-factory welds. My cross beams and flooring are securely mounted not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's not tinted or bent, chipped, cracked, or broken, and there's no holes in my flooring. My exhaust system is securely mounted with their hangers. It's not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's not dented or bent, chipped, cracked, or broken, and there's no suit to indicate leaking. My drive shaft is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's not dented or bent, chipped, cracked, or broken, has properly lubricated U-joints, and are secure with their safety loops. The safety loop is not dented or bent, chipped, cracked, or broken, and not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. There is nothing obstructing any of my dual tires. My differential is not dented or bent, 
chip is cracked or broken. It's not missing any nuts, splits, or screws, and it is not leaking. My air brake chamber is securely mounted. It's not dented or bent. Chipped, cracked, or broken. No non-factory welds, and it is not leaking. The air brake hoses connecting the air brake chamber is securely mounted. They're not worn, torn, frayed, or leaking. My slack adjuster is securely mounted. It's not missing any nuts, bolts, screws, pins, or retainers. It's at a 90 degree angle. Properly lubricated and give no more than one inch give. My slack adjuster is securely mounted. There's not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, pins, or retainers. It's at a 90 degree angle. Properly lubricated and give no more than one inch give. My inner seal securely mounted. It's not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's not dented or bent. Chip cracked or broken and it is not leaking. My brake lining is at adequate level. My brake drum is securely mounted. It's not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's not dented or bent. Chip cracked or broken and no non-factory welds. My inner rim is not dented or bent. Chip cracked or broken and has no non-factory welds. My inner tire has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. My tire tread is wearing even with no less than two 30 seconds of tread depth. It's not a recap or retread. My outer tire has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. My outer rim is not dented or bent, chipped, cracked, or broken with no non-factory welts. The lug nuts are all secure. There's no rust to indicate looseness. My outer seal is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's not dented or bent, chipped, cracked, or broken, and it is not leaking. I have two metal valve stems and caps present, and my tire is at adequate pressure. My mud flap is securely mounted. It's not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, and it's not worn, torn, frayed, or burned. I have five red clearance lights, two red loading lights, two amber warning lights, two amber turn signal and four-way lights, two red brake lights and tail lights, two more red brake lights and tail lights, two clear reverse lights, two license plate lights, and two red reflectors. They're all not discolored or faded, not chipped, cracked, or broken. The seal's not worn, torn, or frayed. They're not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, and there's no condensation. My 8-inch school bus lettering, reflective tape, and emergency door lettering are all clear and visible. They're not worn, torn, frayed, or burnt. My license plate number and school bus number are securely mounted. They're not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. They're clear and visible and up to date, not worn, torn, or frayed. My exhaust pipe extends out beyond the bus and there's no tampering with or vandalism. My emergency door opens and then latches securely. The kit cage is securely mounted. It's not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. My flooring is clean has no burrs or sharp edges. It's not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. And the rubber seals, not worn, torn, frayed, or burnt. My door then unlatches and latches securely. My windows are all clear and visible. The seals not worn, torn, or frayed. And there's no illegal stickers. They're not chipped, cracked, or broken. My shock is securely mounted. It's not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's not dented or bent, chipped, cracked, or broken, and it is not leaking. There's no non-factory welts. My frame, cross beams, and flooring are all securely mounted. It's not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. They're not dented or bent, chipped, cracked, or broken, and there's no holes in my flooring. My fuel cage and fuel tank are securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. There's no tampering with or vandalism. No rust to indicate leaking. It's not dented or bent, chipped, cracked, or broken. I have two amber and one red clearance light, an amber reflector, a red reflector, an amber turn signal light. They're all not discolored or faded, not chipped, cracked, or broken. The seal's not worn, torn, or frayed, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, and there's no condensation. I have two emergency exit windows with reflective tape, my diesel door, my four inch school bus lettering and school bus number are all clear and visible. They're not worn, torn, or frayed, or not discolored. My windows are all secure. 
not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. The seal's not worn, torn, or frayed, and there's no illegal stickers. Underneath the side and the back of the bus, just repeat the same thing on the passenger side as you did the driver's side. My fuel door opens. The cap is secure on tightly. There's no leaking, no sign of tampering with or vandalism. And the fuel door closes securely. My storage compartment opens. There's no sign of tampering with or vandalism. Since my bus is not equipped with black chocks, I will be not using them for the air brakes test. Usually behind the bus, there is a cinder block that blocks the wheels. My storage compartment then closes securely. I'm going to do the lights check. So I'm gonna set my bus with the four ways on. I'm gonna hold the windshield wiper up to me. And I'm gonna switch the key to accessory three times and let it go. And that beeping will start. That's my cue to go outside to the front of the bus for the lights check. So the lights test is now going to be on. So all the lights will flash in this cycle around the bus.
And that concludes the light check. I will now check that the light indicators were working. To do this, I'm gonna start by closing my door. I'm gonna set my bus into the run position for a safe start. That's for letting all the needles sweep. Now that it has, I'm gonna start the bus. My ABS light came on and did turn back off. I'm gonna check that the indicators were working. Starting with my clearance light, I'm gonna put on my high beam. My high beam indicator is working. My left turn signal indicator is working. My right turn signal indicator is working. My hazard lights are working. When I push my amber lights, my amber light indicator is working. As I open up the door, my red indicator lights are working. And from here, I'll be checking the child reminder system. So to do this, I'll turn off my bus and the lights do turn on to indicate that I have to check the back of the bus. My child reminder light came on indicating that I have to check my bus. So I'm looking through all of the seats to check if anything was left behind or if anyone was left behind. There's no obstructions in my aisle way or of my seats. Reminder button is right here. When I press it, my lights flash indicating that I have checked the bus. To check inside my bus, I'm going to put my strobe light on so that I can check it. I'm going to open my doors and set my bus into the run position. My doors did open and close securely. The seals not worn, torn, frayed, or burnt. My glass is not chipped, cracked, or broken. No discoloration or condensation. My doorstep light was working. It's not discolored or faded. Not chipped, cracked, or broken. The seal is not worn, torn, or frayed. It's not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. My handrails are secure in place. They're not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. They're not dented or bent, chipped, cracked, or broken. My aisle tread is secure. It's not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. There's no burrs or sharp edges, and my floor is clean and visible. My doorstep signs are clear and visible. They're secure in place and not worn, torn, or frayed. My fire extinguisher is secure in place. It's up to date. It has its pin and retainer and it's in the green. My bodily fluid cleanup kit and my first aid kit are securely mounted. They're full with their tabs to indicate that they are. My three red hazard triangles are secure in place. They are all accounted for and it closes securely. And my fuse box panels are located right here if I were to ever need to change them. My license and registration are clear and visible and they're here if I were to need them. All of my signs and stickers are clear and visible. They're not worn, torn, or frayed. My door light is right here if I were to ever need to open it in case of an emergency. My storage compartment opens. There's no tampering with or vandalism. The wires are not worn, torn, frayed, or burnt not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, and it closes securely. My aisle tread is clear and visible, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's clear and visible, free of burrs and sharp edges. My seats are securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, and my seats are all latched. We will check all the seats for the normal pre-trip. My storage box is secure in its seat. It opens. There's no tampering with their vandalism and has all my supplies in it and it closes securely. My AC is securely mounted. It's not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's not dented or bent, chipped, cracked, or broken, and it is not leaking. My emergency exit hatch is clear and visible with its instructions. It opens. The alarm sounds. My strobe light is securely mounted. It's not discolored or faded, chipped, cracked, or broken. Seal's not worn, torn, or frayed, and it's not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. I am then going to latch my emergency exit hatch. Slip this between. And pop it close. It latches securely. My emergency exit window 
has clear, visible directions. It's not worn, torn, frayed, or burnt. When I open it, the alarm sounds. It opens and closes securely. And you will be checking all four windows if you have four. My other AC unit is secure in place. It's not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's not dented or bent, chipped, cracked, or broken, and it is not leaking. My emergency door is clear and visible with instructions. It opens, the alarm sounds. And then latches securely. As I'm going up, I'm going to be checking that all the seat's backs are not collapsing and that, again, there's no obstructions or any children within the aisleways. And I will be doing this to every seat. Since my bus is in the run position and it is a safe start, I can go ahead and start my bus. The ABS light did come on and turn right back off. My headlights are already on. My amber warning light and red loading lights were working. My heater, low and high, work. My defrosting fan, low and high, work. My other defroster fan, low and high, work. The mirror heat works with its indicator. If I need the bus to quiet down, the active noise cancels that. Both of my driver domes are on and working. My dome light is securely mounted. It's not discolored or faded, not chipped, cracked, or broken. The seal's not worn, torn, or frayed, and it's not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. My strobe light indicator was working and was on. My external and internal speaker works, and as well as my AC and my AC vents. My dashboard is clear and free of any obstructions. My radio is on and working and is adjusted for me. My parking brake is set. My indicators were working. My intercom and CB2 radio are on and working if I need them, and my driver's heating and AC are adjusted for me. My seat is adjusted for me. My seatbelt is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. The seatbelt is not worn, torn, frayed, or burnt. When I put the seatbelt on, it latches and unlatches securely. My window opens and closes securely. The window is not chipped, cracked, or broken, discolored in condensation, and the seal is not worn, torn, or frayed. My camera box is securely mounted. It's not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's not dented or bent, chipped, cracked, or broken, and the wires are not worn, torn, frayed, or burnt. All of my mirrors are adjusted for me. My mirror is securely mounted. The seal's not worn, torn, frayed, or burnt. It's not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. The mirror's not chipped, cracked, or broken. My sun visor hangs up and out of the way. It's not chipped, cracked, or broken. The seal's not worn, torn, or frayed, and it's not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. My windshield is clear and visible, free of illegal stickers, and the seal's not worn, torn, or frayed. The window is not chipped, cracked, or broken. My steering wheel gets no more than two inch play in a 20 inch wheel. My horn, it works. My windshield wiper fluid works and my wipers are at adequate pressure. My transmission moves smoothly and there's no unusual noises within the engine. My oil is at adequate pressure and I'll monitor it as I am driving. My water and my transmission are at adequate temperature and I will continue to monitor it as I am driving. My RPMs gauge does work. My fuel is full and I will continue to monitor it as I am driving. My mileage and my volts are clear and visible if I are to need them. And my primary and secondary air tanks needle is building back up air as I need it. And then I will wait until the air pressures railed up to 120 PSI to 125 PSI, where the air will then cut off for my air brakes test. All right. My seatbelt cutter is within reach. 
I am going to put my seatbelt on to perform the air brakes test. For the air brakes test, I put my bus off and back into run, letting the needles safe sweep. For this, I'm gonna push the parking brake in and put my foot on the service brake and hold it for one minute. And I should not lose more than three PSI in that one minute. In which it did not. I am now going to fan my service brake and at 60 PSI, the warning light and buzzer will go off. At 20 PSI, my parking brake will pop up. In which it did. Now to build back my air pressure, I'm going to set my bus back into start. It is a safe start since it was in the run position. The needles are safe sweeping. And I'm going to push on my RPMs to let that air build a bit quicker. But around 60 PSI, my warning light and buzzer will go back off. Which it did. And at 120 to 125 PSI, my air will cut off. Which it did. I will now be doing the high hold test. Since my parking brake is set and my air isn't full, I'm going to set my bus into drive and see if this parking brake holds us up if I press the accelerator, in which it did. And that means I am now ready to begin my five mile per hour test. Since this bus was not equipped with block chocks, the block chocks are not there and I can begin to move forward. I will push my parking brake and set my bus into drive. Before I go, I will make sure I check all of my mirrors. So I'm now beginning my five mile per hour test. Driving up to five miles per hour, my speedometer does work. When I press on the brakes, my brakes do not pull to the left or to the right. They stop with no hesitation. And from here, you can go on with your route. 